evening, everybody. My name is Brian Ash. I'm the best man. First, I can say that through your whole life, there's not really many people you can really consider your true friend. Is everyone listening? <laughs> You know, through your whole life, there's not, there's not really many people you can really consider your true friend. Like, <laughs> I see you laughing. I can see you. <laughs> like, really, by the time it's pretty much over, you can really only count them on one hand. And, you know, like, your true friend really consists of someone who's always there for you, someone you can always trust no matter what. And this man right here, Alistair, is, that's him for me. Like, he... Always been there for me, no matter what. And I love this guy. <laughs> All right, out there. <laughs> All right, but, uh, pardon? <laughs> we've got a haggler in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've been through a lot together. We've had our, you know, first drinks together, and our, we picked up our first girlfriends together. Do you remember that, Allison? <laughs> he still thinks about him. I know he does. <laughs> 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 and years and years ago. But uh, when you know when your best friend gets his uh, his new love, they start you know they go off and they're they're being in love and they're you kind of realize most most guys anyway they they start drifting apart. They spend less time together. But when this happened, Alistair, when Sahara came into his life, we actually became closer friends, and I felt closer to him. That's how great of a person she is, and how great of a person they are together. Like, they're the best couple I've ever known. And it's really hard these days to find someone that, this young, that it, they're truly in love. These guys are truly in love. <laughs> I can honestly say now that Sahara is definitely one of those friends on my fingers that I can count. Definitely both my true friends. And look at them, they're a beautiful couple. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when uh, they first started dating. Like, they, well, they weren't even really dating yet. And Alistair calls me out frantically on the phone. He's like, I don't know what to do with it. This girl's too beautiful and she's, she's a big city girl. And big city girls really intimidate me. You remember that, Alistair? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean, man? You're crazy. This girl's beautiful, she's got a great sense of humor, great personality, and she loves the same music you do, which means a lot to me. I was like, don't be stupid. He's just like, duh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. <laughs> It used to be, it used to be, Mr. I remember I remember that. I did that for you guys, just to see what you would say. <laughs> But also, growing up with Alistair, I've, I've also had the great pleasure of growing up with Alistair's parents, Mrs. Grant and Mr. Grant, or as we call them, the governor. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had some great times growing up, and I wish these guys the best. And um, let's all put our drinks in the air so that I've seen the lost mine. <laughs> for the bride and groom, thank you. Let's hope we can all make it out for their 50th anniversary. We'll all be here for the 50th. 